Arduino is massively popular and has played a huge role in making embedded hardware development accessible to the masses. But with that popularity has come a lot of misinformation and misconceptions, which I'm here to correct. I spend my days writing about your maker projects for the official Arduino blog, and these are the five biggest misconceptions I come across on a daily basis. Kicking things off with a personal pet peeve is, number one, an Arduino is a microcontroller. This isn't true, and in fact, Arduino does not manufacture any microcontrollers at all. Arduino as a company provides several things, including an IDE for programming. But when somebody refers to an Arduino, they're talking about a microcontroller development board. Examples include the Arduino Uno, R3, and R4, the Arduino Mega 2560, and the Arduino Nano R3. Those are all development boards for microcontrollers. They aren't microcontrollers themselves. On these boards, you'll find microcontrollers made by other companies like Microchip Technology. My IT homies will understand it best with this analogy. This is not a CPU, just like this is not a microcontroller. Moving on to number two, an Arduino is a low power Raspberry Pi alternative. I could do an entire video on this one topic and I probably will at some point. But the short version is this, Arduino and Raspberry Pi are completely different things. As already mentioned, an Arduino is a microcontroller development board. A Raspberry Pi is a single board computer. People often use them for similar projects, but they operate in different ways. A Raspberry Pi needs to run an operating system to do anything. An Arduino does not, it runs its firmware directly. From a practical use perspective, this difference has big ramifications. One example is boot time. An Arduino will start operating the instant you give it power. A Raspberry Pi will need to boot its operating system before it can do anything, and that can take minutes. An Arduino also works closer to the metal, and that means you have more control over low-level operations and components. But a Raspberry Pi has a lot more processing power and software at its disposal. Once booted, a Raspberry Pi can perform more processor-intensive tasks. Even something as basic as generating an HDMI signal is easy for a Raspberry Pi, but almost impossible for an Arduino. On the other hand, an Arduino will give you complete control over the signals you read and generate. How do you do that? With code, and that leads us to number three. Arduino is a programming language. There's a lot of justifiable confusion on this topic, so let's pick some nits. The Arduino IDE, Integrated Development Environment, gives you the ability to program microcontrollers like those on Arduino development boards. But the code itself is a derivative of C++ with some features added and others removed. Those changes make C++ suitable for embedded applications. If you know C++, then you can program a microcontroller using the Arduino IDE. You'll just need to learn a few new functions and accept that some standard C++ functions are not going to be available. But there's also another complication that causes confusion. You can program the microcontroller on an Arduino using other programming languages. There are, for example, projects that let you program an Arduino using Rust, JavaScript, and Python which should be good news if you prefer another language over C++. But the official Arduino IDE works with sketches programmed in C++. Number four, you shouldn't use an Arduino in your final project. When I wrote for Hackaday, it was common for readers to look down their nose at Arduino. A popular comment was, why would you use an Arduino if you can just use a 555 timer? The idea being that an Arduino is overkill and a waste for most applications. Thankfully, that viewpoint is much less prevalent today, but it still lingers in some circles. The truth is that an Arduino is a very practical choice, even if it might seem like overkill in some cases. You can buy generic third-party Arduino boards for a few dollars, which is almost always cheaper than the individual components. There's very little reason not to use an Arduino in your final project if it's a one-off device. Of course, the balance swings in the other direction if you're planning to manufacture the device in large quantities. In that case, economy of scale comes into play and it might be more beneficial to design dedicated hardware and only use an Arduino for prototyping. But if you're just building one thing and space isn't a big concern, then go ahead and keep the Arduino. And finally, number five, official Arduino boards are better. A big factor behind Arduino's success is their open source hardware. That helped a lot with community adoption and development, but it also means that other companies can manufacture and sell clones of Arduino boards. I frequently see new users asking if those clones are worthwhile, and the responses are all over the place. Some people will say that it doesn't matter, other people will say to stick to the official Arduino boards. And the price difference is often substantial, so this isn't a trivial question. Arduino charges more because they use that money for new development. 
Other companies just reproduce those designs, so they only need to charge enough to make a small profit on the components. Some of those clones are identical to real Arduino boards, and there's no real disadvantage to using them, but others cut corners and the result can be an inferior board or at least one that's harder to use. Most common examples are nano clones that often use CH340 USB 2 serial chips. Those chips require special drivers and that additional step has led to confusion for many thousands of users. So if you're considering a clone board, be sure to check the reviews and description to see if there are any additional requirements or issues that you need to know about. I also wanna point out that there are many manufacturers producing Arduino compatible boards that are not clones. Adafruit is my favorite example because they put a lot of work into engineering and come up with some really fantastic stuff. They sell several development boards that are compatible with the Arduino IDE, but that have unique features and components. Some of those will share pin layouts with Arduino boards so they can utilize the same shields, but they aren't straight clones. Adafruit's Metro series is a good example. The boards in this series use the Arduino pin layout but have additional features like uh, NeoPixel LEDs and additional microcontroller options. Other companies I like are SparkFun, Teensy, Seed Studio, and DF Robot. But if you want a more affordable Arduino board, a clone can be a good option. So that's my list of the five biggest Arduino misconceptions. Did I miss anything? If so, let everybody know in the comments. Thanks for watching and consider subscribing if you like DIY electronics content.